Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to talk about how to calculate the pH of a buffer solution. So I'm going to just go over generally what the strategy would be uh, on calculating the pH of a buffer system and then in other videos I go over example problems. So let's get into this. So uh, here we have a buffer and first I want to uh, kind of remind us that in other videos uh, we've talked about how to calculate the pH of just a, an acid or a pH of just a base, but here we got both mixed together. And how do we calculate the pH of, of an acid with its conjugate base mixed together? So one of the things we need to talk about is the, uh, the effect that having the uh, conjugate base already mixed in at the very beginning of the mixture how that's going to affect the equilibrium. And so if you remember from Le Chatelier's principle that um, if we are to add more product here, right, if we add this to our equilibrium, let's assume for a moment that we just have the acid and then we've reached equilibrium and we go ahead and add some of this, uh, this uh, conjugate base. So I throw some sodium acetate in there and what happens according to Le Chatelier's principle? That says that if I disturb the system by adding product, then it's going to shift in the direction to undo that disturbance. So it's going to want to shift to the left. So it's going to shift the equilibrium to the left in order to create more acid and less uh, H3O and less uh, acetate ion. And so what is that going to do? that's going to suppress the amount of H plus that's produced in the buffer. And so what happens is you get lower amount of H plus in solution. And therefore, in this case, the pH would be greater than normally if you would just had the acid alone. And this is called the common ion effect. It's called common ion effect because the acid and the conjugate base here, we have a sharing of a common ion. So sodium acetate that is mixed in with the acetic acid, both share the acetate ion. And so that common effect is going to suppress the amount of H plus that's uh, formed and it's going to cause uh, a shift in the equilibrium. So then the question again uh, upon us is how do we go about uh, solving for the pH of a buffer system? Well, basically, it's the exact same way we've been dealing with uh, when we're uh, trying to figure out the equilibrium or, or solve an equilibrium problem. So we're going to use an ice table here. So we have an ice table, and all we do is, since we have at the very beginning, we have a certain amount of acetate in our buffer or acid, acetic acid in our buffer. And we have also added at the very beginning a certain amount of our acetate ion, usually in the form of some salt like sodium acetate. So we just begin with those as our initial amounts. So just like we normally do, we're going to put our initial amount into our ice table. So we initially start with 0 0.100 molar there. And we have here, normally this would be zero if we we're just adding the acid to water. Uh, but in this case, we have the common ion acetate. So we're going to put that as an initial condition as well. So initially we start out with uh, 0 0.0100 molar of the acetate ion. And we have zero to begin with for our um, hydronium ion. And then we just do the, uh, we do the ice table like we normally do. We have the change. So since we have zero here in our product, it's going to shift this way. So we're going to lose some of our acid. So that's going to be a minus X there. We're going to gain some H plus, our hydronium ion. So it's going to be add a plus X there. And we're going to add the same amount here. We're going to have a plus X here. We figure out our equilibrium uh, expressions for each of the species. So this is going to be 0 0.100. 
minus x. This is going to be just x because 0 plus x is x. And here we have 0 0.100 plus x. And so now that we have our equilibrium expressions for each species, then we plug that into our K e, Ka expression. So Ka, as we know, is going to be the concentration of the products. So we have H3O plus multiplied by C2H3O2 minus all over the concentration of the acid, which is acetic acid, C2H3O2. So we plug in our equilibrium expressions for those concentrations. So this is going to be equal to, so we have X here. So it's going to be X times 0 0.100 plus X. And then we have here uh, one, 0 0.100 minus X. So here is our expression and then we can solve for x and again we can use the x is small approximation right so we can assume that x is so small that that adding or subtracting x from either amount is not going to change the amount significantly so we can get rid of x so we get rid of the x there and then we end up with x over or x times 0 0.100 over uh, 0 0.100. And so that's going to cancel out and that's going to give us X. So X ends up equaling, this is our Ka value. And so whatever the Ka of acetic acid is, and so we can solve for X. And so we get our Ka value for that. So this is the way that you would uh, solve your buffer solution for, for this uh, type of uh, problem. So it's, it's pretty much the same as we've been doing for our weak acids and weak bases and, thing, and using an ice table for equilibrium. So in a buffer, since it's an equilibrium, the only difference is that instead of starting with only a certain initial amount of our acid or our base, we're starting with a certain amount of acid or base and it's conjugate acid or base at, uh, to start with. And then we do our ice table like we normally do. I hope this was helpful. I hope this uh, explained a few things and uh, um, helped you with uh, buffer solutions and the calculating of pH. In other videos, I go over the actual example problems, so you can look for those and uh, see how I solve those problems. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell right up there. And uh, uh, so that way you can be notified by me uh, with other videos I put out. Uh, put a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think and if you have any questions. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.